Nurmagomedov and Alexander Volkanovsky. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, He'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight in Vegas. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 31. Volkanovski will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volganovsky. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? The fight of the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long you can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the world. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. That knee might have landed there. The hit.
hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips to push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Three minutes to go here, round one. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. This guy, you don't want to mess around for too long. Nermago met up, grounded pound from half guard. Now let's see if he can do some damage. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Plus, right hand is true. Mago Medoff's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, beautifully timed on the overhand right counter. Nice combination of strikes there by Nermago Medov. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, big left hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, that's a nice oh! strike. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 48 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And connecting at a pretty good clip, landing with 63% accuracy tonight against Alexander Volkanovsky. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And nice double leg takedown attempt there. And you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens 
times that easily. He took a shot. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. What a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another day. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're going to break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Burnley out has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! It's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the